Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of Mission Matters. My name is Adam Torres, and if you'd like to apply to be a guest in the show, just head on over to missionmatters.com and click on Be Our Guest to Apply. All right, so this is the second episode in this series. I am so, so excited to welcome back Kathleen Tepley and Heath Goldman. Kathleen's the founder of Los Angeles Consulting Group, and Heath Goldman is the president and CEO of Icon Wealth and Legacy Partners. And for those of you that are just kind of tuning into this special monthly segment, just so you know what it is, every month we bring on Kathleen and Heath to give us updates on what's going on in the Los Angeles Consulting Group. They have events, they have symposiums, conferences, and I was just so impressed throughout working with them and going to some of their events that we created this segment of the show. They have a lot of value they're given, and I want our audience to know about it as well. So first off, Kathleen Heath, I got you back in for a second episode. How are you both doing today? Doing great. I'm excited that Heath was able to join us. He's joining us all the way from Vegas. What's in Vegas, Heath? Oh, I'm here for a conference, the uh, International Conference for ACG, which is the Association for corporate growth. So I'm on the board uh, with our other partner, Brian Rabinovich, at the what's called ACG 101. So it's the middle market up and down that 101 quarter. Man, that's awesome. Thanks for calling in. And then Kathleen, I would say a little birdie told me something. Is it appropriate to say a little out of office message told me something? <laughs> like wh like how, what's going on? There's an addition to the family? So I was able to step away from all the busyness that we have with our opulence and Los Angeles Consulting Group events. I'm back home in Minnesota for two short weeks. We just had our ninth grandchild arrive last week. <laughs> and we made it back in time. So yes, Adam, wow. it's, it's, it's great to be calling you from Minnesota. Wow. So this is a good one. So normally you're both in LA. So now we got Minnesota, we got Las Vegas, and we got LA all on one call. Come on. I can't get any better than that. I'm in. Right? So I guess just- Do I, get sound, it, do I sound any different? I don't know. You always, sound, <laughs> you always sound good, Heath. I don't know. What do you want me to say to that one? Kathleen, you got anything for Heath? <laughs> You're you always on the go. It's tall, all good. Kind of you sound taller? I don't know. You're always, you're taller than me anyway. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You sound pretty buff All today, right. Heath, because you're in Vegas. How does that? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Love it. <laughs> oh well I, I guess for all our, our especially our new listeners so we've been you know blessed that the show is growing and every month we have new listeners tuning in so for those that maybe didn't catch the episode we did last month we're going to be going through the may events and the things coming up and all that good stuff but maybe either kathleen or heath or both whoever wants to take it maybe just start with a little bit more about los angeles consulting group and the opulence events well, I'm excited that of our partnership, Adam. So thank you for including us. This is our second episode and it's exciting to do these global events. We mm -hmm. stepped away. He's in Vegas. I'm in Minnesota. But once we hit the ground running, I'm back on Sunday the 5th and we've got the Milken Conference coming up, which I know you guys are also going to be representing. And this is exciting for us. Our opulence community is a global community that is a five-legged stool. And I'll let Heath share a little bit more about that. But the types of events that we have are anything from salons to roundtables will be in LA one week, San Francisco another week, we'll be in London in June, we'll be in South of France in September, but in between we're in LA and San Francisco mainly. And this is exciting. We mm. love to include everyone and we want to spread the word. And these opulence events that Heath and I have been really pushing to get out in the community are starting to grow. Mm. And, and with that, this month, May is going to be an extremely busy month. Keith, you want to share more about opulence? Yeah, absolutely. As Kathleen mentioned, it's a five-legged stool. In no specific order, family office, venture capital, private equity, a word I don't love, but we use it so frequently, high net worth, and then investors. And so we do events dedicated to each one of those subsets, but we also do events that cater to multiple groups as well. So we may have a family office with investors because there, there might be deal opportunities to be done. So we'll talk a little bit further about that, obviously, as we go through today. 
what do you think i mean use the word community for opulence like what do you think and you you mentioned it's growing and i i watched it so i i don't know it for being anything other than big and growing i'm just curious what do you think some of the secret to success is in and why you have such great traction in the community because you do i mean you didn't say that i'm saying that for everybody listening because i've attended and i've seen it like what do you think the secret is i think a lot of it is about that feeling we've got our families, our day-to-day, we've got our Mm. families and we've got our work life, work life and family balance. And what's difficult is what do you call those that you work with, your colleagues, your business partners, your resources, your sponsors, what do you call them? And I know community is, some people say it's overused, but I'm, I'm telling you it's part of our heart. I mean, many times I'd say, hey, if I'm introducing someone, I'll say they're part of our family. But community is the one that we love to use. We partner with a big group out of London and they're called the family, the global family office community. And when he launched that 16 years ago, he did that specifically because of the needs of those people in the global community Mm -hmm. that wanted to have exposure to events and other families. We've adopted the word and we'll interchange it between family and community. Success, I think, is what is it that we want to leave in legacy? What is it that we want to do for the listeners today is we want to make sure they get to connect with those that they want to meet and also have those speakers and educational opportunities within these expert speakers. And those are people within our community. So it's making sure we always have that give to give mentality the sharing of introductions for each other and just having really great events and supporting them at the events. That's Mm. the success that I believe. Heath, anything that I missed? No, not at all. I think it's also bringing people together. Oftentimes the family offices sometimes feel isolated because they quote unquote are so wealthy and everything else. And I I think it's, it's about making, making these groups approachable bringing these groups together to create, as Kathleen says, community, but in addition to community, opportunities. Because when investors have money to spend and invest in, they need to know what is out there. So the family offices may have a company that they're looking to fund. They may have a company they're looking to buy, private Mm -hmm. equity, venture capital. So it's about opportunities as well like to try to work in at least one kind of pay it forward question let's say for the next generation or somebody that's just starting and i think we've been talking about community a bit so the theme is is there if you were to kind of start over again and i don't mean necessarily with this business or otherwise but just in building a community knowing what you know now everybody has ups downs things they went one way it should have been the other way whatever like what kind of things would you have not necessarily changed, but, you know, add, take away, like just, and it doesn't have to be with the specific community, but now that you are further along as a community builder, like what would you change? I think whenever we do anything, whether it's making introductions or supporting people at an event, you always look to those that are maybe quiet in the background is mm-hmm. I always think back, what would I have done back when I first started out now, like what should I do? And that is always supporting those I wish I had someone that was mentoring me in a capacity. And then after about two, three years, I had a mentor. So Mm -hmm. in this case, I think it's always who are those people that have your back and then making sure that building that quickly, building that right when I started getting out there networking. And he does this to me a lot. He says, Kathleen, you got to get out there and network in the room. You're running these events. (laughs) Yeah, Get out there, get into the room and go do that. And I think that's what... I would have told the younger self, and that's what I tell those Mm. next generation or those that we mentor with in the community now is don't be afraid, just get out there and start looking to those that support you and want to make introductions and pay it forward. Mm. If someone makes an introduction to you, by golly, please return the favor, be reciprocal. That's a good one. On my end, put that same myself in the hot seat with that question. I would have probably took the concept and the idea of being a community builder and like, and what a community even was 
Like I didn't even actually understand what it was. So my background for those that are been listening to the show for a long time, they know, but like the hardcore listeners, but I was in finance almost 14 years, but as in like a financial advisory cap, like capacity. So I don't do that anymore for, you know, eight years I've been out of that business, but I just mean in general, it's pretty, at least the places that I work, there's, there's a community, but you know, one guy gets a client, the other person doesn't, you all work the same company. Everybody's working extremely long hours there was a great culture but would i say that i had a community like nah like i didn't even understand it so the person that opened my eyes to even what a community was was shirag shirag has always been in media and he's always been a community builder and even in the beginning when i'm like i don't understand why we're making this investment in time or money to do this to provide opportunities for others to get together to meet to mingle to have value when we're not making necessarily money or charging a ticket like my mind did i didn't even understand what a community was which sounds kind of funny but i didn't even know like so when i talked to shirag and he's kind of like so over the years i mean i bought into it of course because i trust shirag and i got it and but i just thought it was just like idealistic like I didn't really know. I just thought, oh, it's like the ideal of it and it feels good. And I'm pretty spiritual. I mean, I'm in church. I'm part of communities, right? But that yeah. being said, so I saw the other benefits of it, but I didn't understand the business case for having a community until years later in our community built and, and is building and we're blessed to have that. But now when I look at, I'm like, it is harder, I feel like in business to build a community, put those resources in the beginning but if your heart's in the right place and if you're heading in the right direction and if you really are doing it for the right reasons, the return on investment, there is no number. It gets beyond marketing dollars. It gets beyond other things because of the feel good of also like what you just said, like giving back, like it just changed mm -hmm. the dynamic for me, but I didn't know anything. I was like community. What, what are you talking about? Heath, the power. Talk to him a little I'll bit about one. the power of many. Yeah, but I also Heath. want to mention one thing. If I had for the younger version of the Heath, yep. I would say start early. So the patriarch mm. and matriarch, start taking your grandchildren to certain events. Let them understand mm. how to talk to people. Let them understand the power of what a community looks like. And, and to Kathleen's point, the power of many, it's, it's what we connected. We happened mm. to meet at an event and we got to talking and we got to following up. And the next wow. thing you know, we're doing a podcast on our monthly calendar. She could fill the whole front row with her grandkids and my show. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to keep Heath. You can keep Heath. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's yeah, how you correct. feel an event. I invite all. <laughs> it's great. Take the village. Take the uh, village. I love it. Were you going to say the power thing? I want. I didn't want to cut you off, Heath. I couldn't help myself. <laughs> no, but that's the power. The power of the community. It's you know, it's ah, coming okay. together and helping people. It's okay. you know, as Kathleen said earlier. I just wanted to make sure I didn't cut you off. That's and, all. Uh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, so talking wonderful. about the, the power of the community, what we talk about the, we can jump into some of the events that we have coming up where yeah. we would uh, welcome some of the people from the Let's community. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's, I think that's a great transition maestro. Let's get into it. So I see, let's see, first thing first. And for everybody listening, we're going to go through some events. You're probably driving, you're at the gym, you're in the car. Don't worry. Like the Los Angeles Consulting Group.com. That website hyperlink is going to be in the show notes. And you just heard me say it super easy to remember, by the way, Los Angeles consulting group.com. All you have to do is go to the website. It's a beautiful website. It's fast. It's nice. It's clean. And it's straightforward. Click on the events tab on the top right hand side. And you're going to see a list of all the events we're talking about. So if you miss something, don't worry, just listen for the intent and go check it out later. Los Angeles consulting group.com. All right, let's jump into the first one. So the Outbound Investment Summit, I see May 7th. Um, give me the, the story. What I'm excited about with Outbound is it's a new partner of ours, Matthew Sumner, and we've known him for a while, and he has asked us to step in and share the two events that he has in the U.S. right now, one in Los Angeles on mm. May 7th and one in San Francisco on May 9th. What we get excited about is because in this opportunity, there's anything from attending, and we do have attendee profiles, so if this is the right event for you, the invitation will share that with you as you go through registering, but he's also allowing us to have speakers and sponsors of the event, so mm -hmm. I'm going to go through a couple of the topics, and then I'm going to turn this over to Heath because I was just informed that Heath is going to be one of our expert speakers, which mm -hmm. I'm really excited about because that is the power 
of the community, being mm -hmm. able to get out there and share your expertise and wisdom. We always call it wisdom when we're around our smaller curated tables and we've got a special speaker or we've got a few speakers, we'll call it, thank you for sharing your wisdom. But mm -hmm. for this outbound event coming up next Tuesday in LA, conference topics are immigration by investment, wealth protection and succession, and tax planning. So again, if you're in LA on Tuesday or San Francisco on Thursday, please feel free to register. This is going to be an amazing event and this is a beginning partnership. So we're very excited. But Heath, why don't you share a little bit more about the panel that you're going to be speaking on next week in LA? Yeah. So I think the top, I think the panel's at four o'clock that day. Beautiful uh, venue here in LA. And uh, I'm excited because uh, I did a 10 last year and what I really thought it was just people that wanted to move out of the country. And it's not just mm. people wanting to move out of this great country. It's people who are looking for another opportunity, a second passport to diversify their assets outside of the dollar. It's a great, great conference. Excited to be part of it uh, as an attendee and as a, a presenter, and more importantly, for opulence to be supporting that event. Is Nuri going to be attending because we have an expert that is available that did speak on citizenship and residence planning, and he did an amazing private dinner for us with our community of over 32 people a couple mm. months ago and was able to educate them. And Nuri is an expert at this, and we are always grateful to his resource and availability. Is Nuri coming, Heath? So he will be here on Saturday. He is presenting Come his on, Nuri. Uh, that's, a, that's where I met him last year, actually. Uh, he was one of the presenters last year. And what Nuri does is he helps Americans secure a second passport. And there's many reasons why a client would want to have a second passport. They're not denouncing their U.S. citizenship, but they are having a second passport. So it's a wonderful opportunity for, for families to be able to have the second passport. So excited to see him. This is cool. Let's go to some more of these. So that's outbound. And again, there was two of them. So there's one in uh, Los Angeles, May 7th, and then one in San Francisco, May 9th. And then I see you also have a, oh, this one's a virtual, it looks like, May 8th, a multifamily real estate investment. We are excited because one thing that we found is everybody is really depending on technology now. And so a lot of these educational um, opportunities that are out there for our investors and our family offices, mm -hmm. if they can't come to an event, we are happy to do a live from the Milken or live from the mountains mm. or live from the Getty Center somewhere. Mm. And so we've got Crossbeam Capital, who's one of our major sponsors and corporate partners, and they'll be speaking and doing their multi-real estate investment opportunity on workforce housing and if you've never heard Brad speak, he is amazing. He's amazing at educating on of what we need in the resort areas and also an expert on multifamily real estate. He's also sponsoring the next event on this list, which is mm. the post milk and real estate investor event. This is about what he, the fifth or sixth time we've done a REIR reception. Uh, wow. Do you want to share a little bit more about what that looks like and the type of people we have at this event? Yeah, absolutely. Really excited about this event. Greenbridge, which is a client of mine in Beverly Hills, will be hosting us at their beautiful offices. And there will be family offices there. There'll be investors, real estate professionals, owner, operators, developers, syndicators, so all the above. So if you're in that world of real estate, please go ahead and submit a request to, to guests. And we'd love to have you join us. So excited about that one. I think Crossbeam, also Eisner Amger, the CPA firm, will be uh, two of our additional sponsors. Mm. What do you guys like about Milk and Week so much? To me, that's like my Super Bowl. I don't watch that much football. I don't watch like for me, I used to, I'll tell you, let me tell you my Milk and story because then you'll, you'll know why. So okay. I'm the first year at Milken, I moved to Beverly Hills. I lived there for about six years or so. And I used to live right off of Camden. So a block away from Rodeo Drive, I would like hang out Beverly Wilshire, like that whole, that was just my little area. I didn't go too far anywhere. And one day I go to like, this is, I don't know, actually, I do know it was like seven years ago because I got a Facebook reminder from it. And the first year I went to the Milken conference, this is a solid seven years ago. You can't do this anymore. So if anybody's watching you, there's so much security, there's so much stuff, please, that's yeah. not going to happen. 
But I was a financial advisor at that point. So I'm always in a suit and tie. I always like, I've been to the hotel. I don't know how many times I just feel like I'm there because I live right down the street. So I just kind of walked in. I was like, what are all these people doing? What's going on? And I was just walking around. I wasn't trying to like harm anybody or anything. I just walked in. I was just hanging out and I went into these rooms and when they go into a session or anything else like that, and I was just shocked. Like I remember one of the first people I saw was on a panel was Will I Am from Black Eyed Peas. Who he still oh goes pretty often. Yeah, he's on the right there on the panel and all these people. And I'm like, wow, all these people are just hanging out here. And then I didn't really understand like the significance of the conference or anything. Like I was just like walking down. I thought I was going to have a little cocktail or something at the bar. And then I just saw all these people. So I'm like, oh man, there's something going on here. What is this? <laughs> you just said impact. I mean, what you just shared, Adam, is impact. That's what the milk and conference mm. is all about it's mm. about global community yeah. those celebrities experts innovative Ashton Kutcher was there too I saw him yes. there and all these people they're just there like they're just this is part of what their their agenda in in progressing you know society like and then I I knew I obviously knew who Milken was himself at least from finance and stuff like that like because I was in finance like I knew that I don't know him but knew of him obviously but I mean like I'm like wow this is amazing so now Fast forward eight years later, and this will be the second year that we're going to be covering it on site. So it's so weird slash interesting slash I don't even know how to explain it to like when I walk in there at first, like I'm like, oh, this is cool. And I just went there to have a cocktail. Now, when I walk there, technically I'm working and I'm like, man, don't be I'm walking into something. You don't know they're going to give you a microphone or a job if you like it too much. <laughs> <laughs> how cool is that though that you it's guys are going to be fun. there sharing well, I didn't clear like just to see it all like we didn't have a show we didn't have anything i didn't even know shirag at this time nothing i just was i literally just walked in i was a financial advisor i was working in century city i didn't think i didn't have any inclination of having shows or media or a company or anything i was just growing my i i sat down because i'm like hmm smells like money in here <laughs> And then somebody told yeah, me the yeah, ticket yeah. price and I was like, oh, I can pick up some clients here. I'm going to hang out. <laughs> that was literally it. Michael Milken does not listen to our show, so it's okay. But <laughs> but that's yeah, the no doubt, story uh, for me. It, 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 it's a high ticket price. High ticket yeah. there. Yeah. So, oh, I, uh, yeah, I digress. So we're, I had to give the Milken story, though. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I love it. He. Go ahead. That's funny. No, no, I was just going to say we're excited to mm. kind of piggyback on that week with the real estate, with the real estate mm. happy hour. So hopefully uh, you got some guests that will you'll join us. Oh, yeah. Let's see. We got a couple more to go here. I know you guys got a, a busy event schedule here. So let's see. Let's, let's cover a couple more of these. So I see in May as well. And we're just talking about May for everybody that's listening. So there's stuff in June as well. And like you'll see, that is busy. There are always stuff going on. But I see you got something called a, a Family Matters coming up and also a real estate symposium. So give, give us a little bit more on that one. I'll jump in a little bit with the Family mm -hmm. Matters. We've been doing this with Marsh McLennan, one of our partners, one of our corporate partners. Mm. They host several lunches and educational events. And the um, Family Matters events is a speaker series with Dr. Jeremy Lurie. This is an exciting series for us because a lot of families want education and they want to talk to each other. And this one is in Minneapolis. Unfortunately, I'll be back in LA when they're doing this one, mm. but in the future, I'll be back. And then we do the Family Matters events all over the globe. We'll be in Denver, San wow. Francisco in August. We'll be back in LA, I think in September. And we're always excited to have the Family Matters events. It's usually attended by multi-generational families, family offices, and entrepreneurs that are part of a family office. And with the ACG 101, I'm going to real estate and estate symposium. I'm going to give that one over to Heath. It's on the same day that we're supporting. And why don't you share more about why this event is so exciting for us, Heath? Yeah, for sure. ACG, uh, the conference I'm attending, really has always been about different industry, different uh, parts of the industry, whether it be fashion and apparel, or m and private equity. But last year, our third partner in opulence, Brian Vinovitz, and I decided to create a little real estate mini conference. So it's going to be held at the Sheraton Universal from four to eight. So I have about an hour of networking, 
and then we'll go into panel one, our networking, and we'll go into panel two. We'll get some industry updates. We've got uh, commercial, we've got single family residences, and then we also have the tax update. So really excited about that one. That one is, there is a fee to, to join, but you can get all the information off of LA Consulting Group's website, and hopefully you know, have some clients that will end up wanting to join us as well. And we'll have family offices there, investors, real estate professionals, kind of similar to the happy hour, but at a much lower, bigger scale. That's great. And then the grand finale here, What? how is this explained to me? The big daddy of them all? The Well, actually, no, the name is better than that. The original, the original, it doesn't get any better than that. So the original mixer with the precursor of the family office and investor reception. So this is going to be May 23rd, 6 p.m. to 10. I know I went to your last original mixer and oh my gosh, what a show that you put on over at Lux. Let's just dive into this one because people need to be here. This was, it was amazing last time. So talk about the original mixer, and maybe even what the types of like how all that started. Because how do you get to call it the original? Tell me that. Let's start there. <laughs> Well, Heath and I have been partners and working directly with Brian Rabinovitz. He is the founder of mm. the Original Mixer, and we've yeah. been nurturing this community of attendees now for 17 years at the Lux on Sunset. That makes and it the original as far as I'm concerned. Go ahead. It is the original <laughs> one. And so if you're in private equity or venture capital, angel investors, business owners, managers of public mm -hmm. and private companies, entrepreneurs, accountants, attorneys, commercial and investment bankers, valuation professionals, financial advisors, C-level executives and professionals and consultants, this event is an incredible event. I mean, we get about 250 plus attendees in a room. Mm -hmm. We have about 25 exhibit tables. There, there are still exhibit tables available for a very low fee. And then you get all the branding and marketing, you get to meet all these mm -hmm. great people. And what we're doing is an opt-in option. If you want, if you sponsor a table, and somebody has opted in to share the attendee list, they will get that attendee list. Mm. But what's exciting, and then I'll turn this over to Heath, is we tried out an event and our family office says, we want to be involved. So from four <laughs> to six o'clock, we have a pre-reception at the Lux on Sunset for family offices and investors and this event, um, we've got a celebrity guest that's coming to speak, not only at the reception, but also at the mixer. Mm. And we get about 35, 40 family offices in a room and you get to mix and mingle. You get to talk to each other. You get to share your, your passions, what you're doing uh, in your family office space. And again, it's a closed event just for family offices and ultra high net worth investors. Keith, you want to share more about the events on the 23rd? Yeah, so... Yep, this event started, as Kathleen mentioned, about 17 years ago by our third partner, Brian Rabinovitz. Uh, it was at the, uh, the pool bar at the Hilton in uh, Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills ah. And uh, expanded. It's a, a fabulous event. It brings together the who's who of the professional community. And really, it's just loose networking. It's just about, once Kathleen always says, sharing your wisdom, being around other great people, and building community that can help you and your, and your clients. Yeah, one of the things that I, I noticed when I attended the last original mixer was that at that time, I didn't know it had been around for 17 years, but I could see that it just brought people out that I would argue wouldn't normally go to a mixer. Like it was, it's a different type of crowd that's they're there because they want to be like, who knows, maybe, maybe 17 years ago when they just started building their business or whatever they were building, maybe then they needed to. But the fact that people still come back, like it became a game for me to be like, oh, have you been coming to this before? Or how do you know Kathleen? Or how do you know he, the people like, oh, I've been coming here for like 10 years or I've been coming here for whatever amount of years. And it was almost like a badge of honor. And I'm like, oh, well, I don't even get to, it was wasn't because people weren't like saying things like I've been there once or twice or like this or that or like this. They're, they were saying it by like years. Yes. Yes. <laughs> like, so, you know, when yes. somebody equates they're going to an event for years, it only happens for things like, I don't know, Super Bowl or like, you know, Wimbledon, like <laughs> big, like they don't normally say that about a mixer or a networking event or a like that doesn't normally happen. So, immediately it just stuck out for me but then as i would get into further conversations i would be like huh 
that person probably doesn't go to that many mixers or anything actually, but they're here because they want to be. And that, I think to me, that was very special. It's like a homecoming. It's like a homecoming because a lot of them do not need to network anymore, yeah. especially some of the family offices or higher level mm -hmm. experts. And that's what makes this event so unique. Yeah. It's been transitioned over the years. And what we like is it gives a platform for those that want to get out there and share their mm. their business growth development and have a table and get to meet all these great people and then utilize it in their own tactics of growth. It's it's the mm. one event that I look forward to <laughs> always because it brings out our people in our community that we call our family. Amazing. So I think I see about, we're about out of time here. Plus Heath's in Vegas and he's like, all right, guys. No, he's not. He's not saying he wants to hurry and wrap it up, <laughs> by the way. I'm just, I just throwing that out there. He's not even on camera. I can't tell, but I just like to put that out there. But, but that being said, I, <laughs> a last closing note on my end, you have a newsletter, which I think is absolutely amazing. And we just went over the, we do this once a month, right? To get the news out there. But if I know you and if I know Heath, as long as I have, which isn't that long but i can tell you but you're consistent and i already know the events we just went over you're going to hold those but by before may is up you're going to be adding more i already know it just happened yes. like yes. so and but but for everybody listening guess what we only do this once a month so if you want to get updates on all those events that are going to happen in between that maybe will already even be hosted and gone before we do our next episode next month you need to sign up for this newsletter so it's super important even if you're not in town for the particular events we just mentioned so kathleen the newsletter how do they sign up like give us a little bit of a feel for that because i want people to go do that Absolutely. And then we're going to challenge you, Adam, just before we close out. Oh, going to put a challenge out there for you. I'll away from it. No, 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 no. <laughs> so you can either go on to the www.losangelesconsultinggroup.com. Mm. There's a link on the front page to join our newsletter or just send me an email at KJT. That's my initials for Kathleen Joe Tepley at losangelesconsultinggroup.com. We'll get you on the list. But mm. here is our challenge. I like Adam, the challenge. I'm in. Are we going to see you at an event this in month? May. Yes. In May. And in which May. event? We're in May. And then we're, we're going right to. Yeah. You're probably going to see one. me at two. Wait a minute. You're probably going to see me at two this month. Watch what you wish Ooh. for. Ooh, because milk and week, I already took the whole week off. So just to work. Okay. So unless they okay. drag me out of that, I mean, let me, oh, how, how do you like my vacations, right? You go to Minnesota, he's in, he's working in Vegas, of course, like, and I take my day off to go to go do more work. <laughs> I'm going to be, gosh. I'm going on vacation to go do interviews at Milken. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But that I'm definitely going to. And then for everybody else that's listening, I'll definitely be going to the original mixer. Like, no, I look forward to these. That's fun. So I'm going to be going there and I want to definitely network and mingle with people. So any of the people listening there that want to meet and, and hang out, come out to those. I'll, I'll definitely be at that one. And I know come, come see us. So there, there goes my twofer. Boom. Didn't know you were done. Good. Done. We'll we'll report back next month and we look oh, forward to seeing everyone at these events. Here we go. All right. Final note for everybody that's listening. I will put that again, Los Angeles Consulting Group.com. We'll put that in the in the show notes. And speaking to the audience, if this is your first time with us and you haven't hit that subscribe button, it's time to do it. Hit that subscribe button. We have many more mission-based individuals coming up on the line. Heath, Kathleen, thank you so much. Can't wait till next month when we get to do this again. Thank you so much, Adam. See you soon. Thank you.